Hey, what is it guys? Jared here. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own male view controller with Swift and Xcode. Now, if you guys are wondering where my Don't Tap the White Tiles in Swift with Swift and Xcode is, it'll be out very shortly, but right now I'm having some technical difficulties, so that's why it's not out. But right now, I'm just going to show you how to do this, and let's get started. Alright, first off, let's go ahead and open up Xcode. Let's create a new Xcode project, and here we're going to make it a single view application. Our product name, I'm just going to call this Mail Form. You guys can call this whatever you want. Our language will be set to Swift, and our devices will be set to iPhone. Now click Next and Create. Alright, now let's go ahead, and I'm just going to make this a bit bigger for you guys, so you guys can see it a bit better. And let's go to our main dot storyboard. And first thing we need to do is actually I'm just going to change the background color of this so we can see our UI text field and UI text view a little bit better. So go ahead and click on the white background of the view real quick. And we're just going to change the background over here in our attributes inspector. And we're just going to change the background to a dark gray color. All right, now let's go ahead and add a UI text view onto our text field onto our UI view controller. So go ahead, click drag that onto our scene. And next thing I'm going to do is actually change the size of our scene. So go ahead and click on this top white bar right up here. And I'm just going to change the size to an iPhone 4.7-inch, uh, 7-inch screen iPhone. So that's just a general size for a phone. If you, if you want to change the size to a different size, go ahead and do that. But this is just a general size. All right. Now I want to place this UI text field to the top right up here. And that's just because if in this tutorial, we're not going to be fixing the keyboard issue where you can't put it down. Uh, but you guys can find other tutorials on how to do that probably. And if you guys want a tutorial like that, be sure to leave that down in the comment section down below. But basically, uh, this UI text view right here doesn't... Basically, if we can't put the keyboard down, then that'll be hidden and the UI text view will be hidden. So we just want this to be up at the top with everything else. All right, now let's go ahead and click and drag a UI text view onto our scene right here. And just click and drag that onto our scene. And I'm just going to place that just slightly beneath everything else, but right above the middle area. That's where our keyboard will most likely be covering. All right, now go ahead and last thing we want to add is a button onto our scene. So go ahead, click and drag that button onto our scene like so. All right, and I'm just going to change the color of the button to be a white color, just so we can tell it a little bit, a little, a bit better from the background. And we're just going to call this send email. Now you could add other things onto this view controller, such as a title, uh, knowing that this is the body and this is the subject. But I'm just this is just the basics, and I'm not going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and open up right up here our, our assistant editor. And we want to connect our objects that we just created over to our view controller scene that or over our view controller dot swift that we have right here. So go ahead, right click and drag from our text view over to our view controller dot swift file. And we're just going to call um, the body itself our body. So go ahead, click and drag that and just copy and just name it body and connect. And now we want to do the same with this UI text field and just go ahead, click, right click, right click or control click and drag from our UI text field and we're just going to call this subject like so. Now there is something wrong for some reason. So go ahead and create and subject. All right, there we are. That worked that time. All right, now let's go ahead and right click or control click and drag from our send email button and just put it right down here. And first thing we want to do is change our connection type. And we're actually going to make this an action. So this is the button that's going to call our view, con our compose view controller that we're going to pre create in just a minute, which will be our email view controller. So just go ahead and just call the name of this send email and connect. Now let's close our view control our main dot storyboard right here and go to our view controller dot swift and close up our section right here and close up our assistant editor all right 
First thing we want to do is right in here of our send email button, we want to create a few variables that will hold our subject and our body. So go ahead and say var subject at text equals subject. Now you could do something else with this where you actually have var subject text equals open quotation mark, close quotation mark, and right inside of those quotation marks that you, you could say this is Jared or whatever you wanted to say, and colon. You don't need to add the colon, you could do whatever, dash. I'm just showing an example. This is Jared, and then colon, and then right after that you could say you could add the subject right after that this is Jared. So go ahead and say subject text plus equals subject dot text like so. Now basically what this is going to do is say this is Jared and then it's going to add right after here your subject that you create via the UI text field that you have on your view controller or your, on your main dot storyboard. All right. Now, right down here, we want to create one more variable. This is going to be our body. So go ahead and say var message body equals body. Like so. All right. Now, basically, we have the the variables that are needed to actually create the subject itself and now all we really need to do is create the view controller itself that holds all these messages so first things first we need to first import a framework a new framework into our, our on into our view controller dot swift so go ahead right up here and just say import message ui like so now basically this message ui is just a it's a big thing of code that you add into your application that allows you to uh, perform certain tasks that you normally couldn't have with just your standard UI kit. So message UI actually at, uh, encompasses the email user interface that you can add into your scene. So right now we want to add that um, mail compose, um, our mail composing view controller onto our scene. So go ahead and right here, Right after our UI view controller, right up here, we want to say comma mf mail compose view controller delegate, like so. And now we'll go back to our send email, and we want to say var mc colon mf mail view mail compose view controller equals mf mail compose view controller open parentheses close parentheses like so and now we just created our mail composing view controller that encompasses all of the message body and the subject and now we're actually going to add that inside of that composing view controller that we just created so go ahead and say mc dot delegate i'm sorry mc dot M mail compose delegate, that's what I was looking for, equals self. All right, now after that, just go ahead and say mc dot set subject equals, and we can just add whatever's up here. So just say subject text or whatever variable you created that encompasses your subject text that you created from your main dot storyboard. And now we want to say MC dot set body, sorry, set message body, set message body. And inside of this body right here, you want to say message body, the variable that we created right up here. And you can say is HTML. If you want to make your own HTML body, you can, which you can add italics and do other stuff if you want. But this is just a simple tutorial, so we're not going to get into HTML. So go ahead and call this false. And I'm sorry for saying go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and do this. And I know. It's a habit. 
Oh, right over here, we also forgot to say message body dot text. That's what it should be. It should not just be some standalone message body. All right, now right down here, you just go mc dot set to recipients, like so. And now we actually want to call the recipients. So right up here, just say var to recipients. Forgot to do this earlier. Var to recipients equals, and then you can make this an array, or you can just say, just say architect at gmail.com. Or you could make this an array by adding brackets around it, like so. And then you can have multiple recipients inside of your mail compose view controller. And right at you would add that add brackets right around it, and then right after your first mail. Uh, recipient you would go comma and then open quotation mark close quotation mark and then you would add your second recipient by doing the exact same thing that you just do there and so on and so forth if you want to add more and more recipients all right so for this tutorial purpose I'm just gonna have my email as our main recipient so MC dot set to recipients and you want to say two recipients like so and I'm sorry, there should be brackets already around this. There should be brackets around this. Forget what I said, that it can't be, it can't not be standalone. It has to have brackets around it. All right. And now go ahead and go down here. And now we want to say self dot present view controller. And we want to call the view controller that we just created MC animated true. It can be true or false, whatever you want. And completion equals nil. And now let's go ahead, build, and create this and see what happens. Now, the last time I actually created this, I had an error. So I actually had to build and run this onto my, onto my iPod. So let's see how this does by just running it on the simulator. And then if it doesn't work, I'm just going to skip right ahead and go to my iPod. So go ahead, send email, and there we are. It didn't work because it didn't fill out the to form or the anything else. So let's go ahead and jump onto my iPod and see if that worked better. So now as you can see, I'm clicking send email. And as that goes up, I have my recipient as to architect at gmail.com. Our subject is this is Jared, and it comes with the body that we created. Now we can click delete draft but that doesn't do anything so let's go ahead back into the code and fix whatever's not working it right now now in order to fix that problem that I just talked about we need to create a function so say func mail compose view controller now this is what it's saying and it should automatically fill all this up for you but if it didn't go ahead and fix that and type everything in and say it should say func mail view controller controller mf view controller did finish with the result result mf compose result error ns error basically all this is saying is when you do something that's contrary or when you do something that's good then it does something so now let's go ahead and fill out this code so say all right now to fix that problem that we just talked about we just want to say func mail compose view controller and it should give you this huge thing right here and just tab all that in and now basically I'll explain this in a minute now it, for this code part we want to say switch result dot value and go ahead and say open curly bracket close curly bracket all right now we won't have any we won't have any errors except for this extra funk that I added at the beginning all right, so basically what this whole thing right here is, is it's going to find which result happens, such as if the composer, the mail composer fails or it's canceled or something else happens, then it's going to return a value. So now we're actually going to decide what to do when we do the, when we have a certain value. So go ahead and just say switch compose I'm sorry mf mail compose result canceled open 
I'm sorry, colon, enter. And then right after that, you want to just say ns log colon quotation mark open open quotation mark close quotation mark and just say result canceled like so and actually this should not be switched this should be case sorry that is why it was giving me that error all right and i typed in ns log wrong it should be ns log open open parentheses, quotation mark, quotation mark, mail, canceled. And now continue, oh, and also I forgot one more thing. It should be MF mail compose view controller result canceled dot value. That's what it should be. All right, now we can just go ahead and we don't need these ns logs actually so i'm just going to go ahead and skip all that and actually we do need those ns logs. all right now let's go ahead and just continue on with our cases now say case mf mail compose result failed dot value colon then you want this to be ns log and do the same thing and it should be and we don't want this to be failed we actually want this to be sent or saved we'll put it as saved and just say mail saved like so and just delete the rest of this part right here and continue on and just say case mf mail compose result sent dot value open colon i mean colon i'm tired sorry <laughs> and then go tab ns log and then this should be format mail sent and delete whatever we have the rest we have here and for our last one we should have case mf mail compose result compose result failed dot value colon and then just say ns log mail open quotation mark, close quotation mark, and now just say mail sent failure, colon, and then just say percent at, and this should be what comes right inside of here. It should be error, or sorry, open bracket error dot localized description, and Lastly, we should just have break. Sorry, not break. We should have default, colon, and then break. And last thing we want to add is, is right after this mark right here, and just say self dot dismiss view controller true completion nil. And now let's go ahead and build this run this on my iPod and see what happens. Now, as you can see, when I click send email, it automatically loads it all up. And then you can click cancel, delete draft, and then it dismisses the view controller. Or you can get send email and send it. And it sends the email and dismisses the view controller. There you are. That is how you do it. Any guys, that's it for the, anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you guys really enjoyed seeing my setup made out of cardboard and other stuff, be sure to hit that like button down below too. If you guys want to know more about me, be sure to check me out on Twitter and also check me out on my website down in the description down below. If you guys want to see more tutorials by me, be sure to subscribe. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Tutorial.